India's strategy to eliminate lymphatic filariasis or LF is based on twin pillars transmission control and morbidity management and disability prevention. Control of transmission is currently through Mass Drug Administration or MDA. Every individual except children less than 2 years, pregnant women and seriously ill people receives preventive drugs to clear the community of the infection. The preventive drugs are free of cost and have to be taken once a year. The government is making all-out efforts to improve the quality of mass drug administration and to improve its access. There is strong political will. There is also sustained involvement of bureaucratic leadership at the national and state level. Training of medical officers, frontline workers, supervisors and drug administrators has been enhanced. Innovations in drug administration are being implemented. Learnings from the polio eradication program have led to improved microplanning. Rapid response teams have been constituted to manage any adverse event. There is intensive social mobilization involving panchayat leaders, self-help groups and schools among others to improve awareness of the benefits of preventive drugs. Post-MDA assessment and evaluation is also carried out. Now with the Triple Drug Therapy or IDA approved by WHO, the government hopes to accelerate elimination of lymphatic filariasis. Triple Drug Therapy refers to administering a single dose of three antifilarial drugs, Ivermectin, DEC and Albendazole. Studies show that introducing the Triple Drug Therapy or IDA can clear almost all the lymphatic filariasis parasites from infected people. It is better than the older treatment with true drugs, DEC and albendazole. In addition, with triple drug therapy, communities may be protected with lesser number of rounds of mass drug administration. IDA was launched in Arwal District, Bihar, Simdega District, Jharkhand, Nagpur District, Maharashtra and Varanasi District, Uttar Pradesh. India is committed to accelerate efforts to achieve elimination of lymphatic filariasis by 2021.